Welcome to another edition of Virtual Storefronts Hidden Features. When I open this app and logged in, it takes me to my custom feed. Uh, without having to log on. And you can see at the bottom there, it has all white down there. And um, so try not to log out once you've got this thing set. So I can close it out, come back and hit this button and brings it right back up and bam. So I don't even have to log in anymore. If I just want to do a quick search, all I got to do is do a quick search like local honey. I Lo love lock, loca, local. And I can put honey, H-O. There we go. And there you go. You got all the stores that have local honey in the neighborhood. And you can also notice right there, you got the little thumbs up next to certain things. So you can see I'm following Dean's and Cups and Cones. I'm not currently following the black and white market, Blue Moon LC and New Old Stuff. I need to, um, I, I probably should. New Old Stuff is, is uh, you know, they're all changing. They're all good stores to follow. So I just click on that, fix that. And then I can go back to local honey like I got right here. And you can see there's, there it is now. You got the little thumb up. It also shows up next to there. So that's a little tip right there. Now, what I want to cover is uh, how to deselect stores. So let's say I pick a store that I, I decide I want to clean up. So the, let's go look at my, uh, my live feed. When I click the top left button, homes button, which is the VS with the awning, it takes me back to my shopper's home, you know, my my feed. See, it's defaulted to my feed. My feed's going to be whatever I select it. Let's say I want to stop following something. You know, let's say, um, you know, I don't want to follow. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I like following them all. Oh, I guess I should show you this too. Um, if you slide this, you can dismiss it or you can pin it and save it. If you hit the green, save it, it'll move this particular thing to, you know, let's say the garage sale. I wanted to save the garage sale, so I put it save. And now up here is where you can find the garage sale. So the ones I saved that I think is important, I would definitely want to go to. So see this the garage sale is already passed. So in this case, I'm going to come over here and remove from save. See that? I slide it over and, and then I hit the red and it's removed from save. It didn't remove it from the feed. It's still there, as you can see right here. And then I could dismiss it. See, if I want to remove it from my feed, it doesn't remove it from everybody's feed, just my display, okay? But, um, or I could pin it. If you pin it, it's gonna always be at the top. So that's another feature that we have here. So, okay, quit playing with that, right? All right, <laughs> now, it, as you see here, you got the tab, so my feed. So if I was gonna remove a store and cups and cones, all you gotta do is click on cups and cones, go to where it's following, and then just click on following and you see it just unfollows right there and turns white. And then when you go back here and cups and cones has been removed. Let's do it to the blue stage. There's a lot of feet on the blue stage. So let's just come over here and hit following and it unfollows. So I go back to my feed and you see it's getting more sparse. There's, I don't have the blue stage. I have a few other store fronts on there. So there it is. It's, it's no longer following the blue stage. So, and that's as simple as that.